Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how I built my outdoor library. So I started off with this empty area of land on the second level of my island. The first step I took to creating the outdoor library was to do some terraforming. So I knew that I wanted the library surrounded by cliffs. And so my third step obviously was building those cliffs. And this was kind of a weird terraforming time for me because normally when I terraform, I try to make it look very natural and I try to have sort of like natural curves and little crevices but this time I knew that I wanted like the outside of my library the border of my library to be covered in bookshelves so I needed the cliffs to be flat I don't know if I'm explaining that very well but hopefully when you see it with the bookshelves you'll know what I was talking about I wasn't quite sure how big I wanted the library area I paved it out with the wood pathing tool just the general one that you get because I knew I'd probably want to put some custom designs on top of it and I knew that I wanted like a wooden floor for the bottom of the library so I went with that one even though it's probably not the exact shade I wanted it was the best we could do in this situation I do wish you could put custom designs on top of custom designs but at the moment we cannot I did move the placement of the wood around a few times because I realized on the cliffs I wanted trees like I want you to be able to see the trees growing above the bookshelves and when you only have two spaces on a cliff that's not enough room to plant a tree so I had to make them a bit bigger and I had to move the library over to keep it the size I wanted today and there was a lot of fiddling around the terraforming took ages like it's not complicated terraforming it just took me a long time and eventually I had a space I was roughly happy with so I thought I'd add in some trees on the higher level when I collected some trees from around my town and just planted them up there the positions were kind of more placeholder spots like I knew this wasn't exactly where I wanted the trees and how I wanted that to look but I felt like I couldn't figure it out without doing the actual library decoration so I just kind of put them in there as placeholders and then it was time to get decorating so I got out my pipe and I placed it near the library for easy access to my storage and then I headed to my storage and collected the first and most important item for the library was all my wooden bookshelves so I had these customized in the light brown variation and I put them against the cliffs so that they were like bordering the whole library and then I knew that I kind of wanted like a shelf looking area like I wanted like rows of bookshelves so I spent a bit of time fiddling around figuring out how to best do that in the end I ended up with these three rows with two bookshelves in each and then I added my bookshelves to the left side and boom there was like the skeleton of the library that was the basis of my library now it was time to add all the little bits and pieces so the first thing I added was a wooden sign announcing that this is the library I found this really cute pattern I will put the code up here if you'd like to use it and I just thought that that was really cute on the wooden shop sign and then I knew I wanted my library to be like quite a natural library so I bought a whole lot of like mush items because I thought they'd go with like the vibe that I was trying to go for so first of all I put out the red spotted mush lamps on the end of each of the rows of the bookshelves and then this wasn't actually like part of the library library it was more of like an outside decoration I just thought the garden wagons would look really cute if they were like just outside the entrance of the library they're just such a cute item and I had them in my pockets because I thought I might put them in the library and then I decided I wouldn't put them in the library and they just look really cute outside also can I just say I love when you push the garden wagon along that the wheels move it's so cute now, I didn't actually have like a solid idea of what I wanted to do with the space inside the library I was kind of feeling like on the left side I probably have like kind of studying area with tables and then on the right side I kind of didn't really know it was a bit of a mystery but I thought I could do something cute within that space but no matter what I did what I thought would look really cute there is if I had like a little cute rug down there so I got this pattern I saw on Twitter recently here is the code this person has lots of really cool patterns and I chose this kind of cream rug with flowers on it and then I just used tassel pattern to make it look all ruggy yes ruggy is now a word and then I liked how it looked so much I decided to add one to the back corner and then I thought oh my goodness you know what would be really cute here is a little book club and I was kind of thinking this because when I got my library sign it was also a book club sign and I was like oh that'd be really cute but I don't think I have enough room in my library but then I was like the book club can be on the rug at the back and it can be all cute so then I got working on decorating my book club I made another wooden sign and customized it with this book club sign and then I started adding something that's quite important to book clubs some books on the rug and then I was like oh some zen cushions will look really cute 
cute here. They'll be really cute because then you can like sit on the cushions and read your books. But I didn't have any Zen cushions. So then I had to order some and then I had to time travel so I could actually get my Zen cushions. And then I got my Zen cushions and then I had to customize my Zen cushions. Which I customized with this really cute patchwork pattern. So I thought it'd be cute if I had like a Zen cushion pile in the corner. Because then it's like as more people come to the reading club they can grab a cushion and join in. And I set out two cushions for my villagers that will be reading. And I played around with the placement for a while trying to decide exactly where I wanted the books and I decided I wanted some candles. Specifically I decided I wanted the mum's candles. They're so cute. I love them. I also added a tissue box in case they're reading a sad book. They might need some tissues. And added in some book piles for more reading. And then I felt like it wasn't looking quite right and I decided to extend out the picnic rug which was a whole hassle because then I had to move all my bookcases but it was worth it. And then I was a happy happy chat. I thought it looked really good. I thought it looked really cute and I'm so excited for my villagers to come and sit down on those cushions and I will take a million pictures because it's gonna be so cute. They better come. So my next task was to decide what I wanted to put on the tables. So you see those tables? That's two tables. That's eight possible spots. I'm not even joking. I was recording this and this took me over an hour. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like watching YouTube while I was doing it so I wasn't paying 100% attention but that's kind of just an excuse for me being indecisive and testing out every little tiny item that you can possibly put on a table because I just couldn't decide and I wanted it to look really cute and I had too many items I wanted on the tables and I just kept confusing myself and just putting everything away and starting over and doing the exact same thing so many times. I don't know why I'm like this. This is why I'll probably never fully decorate my town because I can't even decide what to put on two tables. I had a lot of upsetting moments when I was doing this. I kept accidentally picking up the wrong thing. I kept accidentally picking up my bookcases and it was very upsetting. I was very stressed out by these tables. You'd think they would be like the easiest part of this whole thing but for some reason just completely stressed myself out over them. Anyway eventually I was mostly happy with them. I was so done. I was like it's just time to move on. So I was looking at the floor around the tables and it looked a bit bare. There was nothing going on there and I thought this is an outdoor library. I could put some leaf piles and that would look cute. But the leaf piles just really blended into the floor and so I thought I'd put some leaf patterns and I tried out all the leaf patterns that I currently have in my custom designs. Then I decided I didn't like them. They didn't look right. They weren't the right color. They weren't the right shape. They're lovely leaf patterns. I've used them in other areas of my town but they just weren't looking right for the library. So I went on to Pinterest to try and find the perfect leaf pattern and I found one and this person also had this really cute little green leaf board and I was like that'll be perfect for like the edge of the library to make it look more natural and not just like wood against grass. It'll be like growing into the grass. So I added my little border, I added my leaves and then even though I had previously thought they were the perfect leaf pattern I decided to swap them out <laughs> for another one of that person's leaf patterns because I was like there's too many leaves in those leaf piles. I want them to be a bit more sparse. So I did that. I chained the leaves to the leaf pattern that has a few fewer leaves and then I thought that looked good. Then I was like yep yeah, I'm happy with that. Time to fill in that final corner of the library which I really didn't know what to do with. I thought I might have like a cute little area where there were like some of the teddy bears reading to each other and then I was looking through my items and I found the chess board and I was like maybe the teddy bears can be playing chess but the baby bear just didn't look right like it blended into the rug so I was like I'll grab one of the zen cushions and put the bear on the zen cushion. Well when I placed a zen cushion down I was like let's get rid of the bears these zen cushions look better but then I felt like the chess board it just didn't match it just didn't go with the zen cushion so I put some of the wedding candles in the middle because I thought that would look cute and then I was doing some more thinking and then I was like a fireplace a fireplace that's what we need here that'll be really cute so it's like a cute warm area for my villagers to hang out when they enter the library and then I was thinking I wish the fireplace was lighter I wish I could customize it it just it doesn't look how I want it to look here and so I went back to my storage to see if there was anything else I had forgotten about that could look better there than the fireplace and I found the turkey day fireplace I had completely forgot about it for some reason I always forget about the seasonal items I just completely forget they exist and that I can use them to decorate whenever I want to so we got that out and how good does that look there and then I got out one of the little autumn trees and I put it on top and I was like that is peak design I have peaked this is my best moment in life I know it's not the craziest design you've ever seen in animal crossing but I just thought it looked cute and I had a bit of a repeat of the whole table situation where I couldn't decide what to put in the corner and I put a million little items in there. It's a little 
little items that really get to me. I think because there are just so many cute ones, I just I just can't decide. Anyway, we ended up with a globe in the corner. Not the cool globe that they just released, but just like a, a globe. I also put another pile of books on the other side of the fireplace because why not? And I decided that I didn't like the candles in the middle because the fireplace was glowing and the candles were glowing and it was too much glowing in one spot. So I decided to put a tea set there and I thought that kind of worked better because then the area has like a purpose. Like you can come here and have tea with your friends in front of the fire. Like how perfect for winter. I mean, I don't know why you're in an outdoor library in winter, but you know, it's cute. And that was it. Then my library was complete. It was time for a library photo shoot. I had to change my outfit because my outfit didn't go with the vibe of the library. And I was super happy with it, how it turned out. I think it's really, really cute. I especially love the book club. I think that's my favorite part of the library. And I have to say a big thank you to all the people who share their amazing custom designs because I couldn't have made this without them. After I finished my photo shoot, I realized that I wanted some more trees on the other level. And I forgot to record this Part, but basically I just added more trees. It wasn't that exciting. I ended up adding some trees that weren't fully grown so I could have like a bit of height variation and I was really happy with how it looked. Like when you're sitting down and you look up, I just love how it's like a library amongst the trees. Anyway, that is the complete story of how I built my library. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon. So yeah, bye!